Hey everybody, it's Cooper back again with the last part of my special 100th pickup video. And before I get into it, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers and all my supporters. Um, I've had a lot of new subscribers recently. Um, I am going to be doing a 1,000 subscriber contest. Um, I think, you know, maybe in a few weeks here. I'm not exactly sure when, but currently, right now when I'm filming this video, I have over 1,170 subscribers. So that's amazing. I recently just hit a thousand, so to already have almost 200 more, that's just incredible. And I, you know, I really can't believe it. But I just want to thank you guys all. Thank you for your support. Thanks for your comments and your likes and watching all my videos. I really appreciate it. So the last three boxes that I have here are the last three um, from LV Pepe 38. Once again, check him out. Link will be in the description. And uh, first up, we have a little note here. Um, this came in the first box. And, um, well, let's just get into it. He says, Hey Coop, hope you enjoy, buddy. I'm glad they're going to a good home. I had to take out a few of the PS1 games as a person whose they were didn't want me selling them, so I threw in extras plus a whole box of goodies to make up for them. Hope that's cool. Can't wait to see your unboxing. Your friend Lou. And the whole box of extras is right here. And I'm going to go ahead and open this one first because these last two boxes are amazing. And, you know, I've got to save the best for last. So, this box here is entirely extra that he threw in, and it's really nice of him. He really didn't have to do that. And there's some really cool stuff in here. <clears throat> so, first up, we have a Capcom arcade fighting stick for the Super Nintendo. And I had one of these before when I was in Vancouver, and I actually... I either traded it or I sold it to this guy and I got like a couple um, boxed N64 games plus some cash so um, I mean these things aren't cheap and they're pretty cool the the cord is uh, detachable and everything and it's very cool it's actually made by Capcom so um, I think I'll definitely be keeping this one because um, it's pretty awesome Next in here, we have another controller, and this is a Logitech keyboard controller for the PlayStation 2. And uh, it also has a USB port, so you can plug it into a computer if you want. But um, this is very cool. Um, it's got the full keyboard on there and everything, and it's actually really comfortable to hold. It's a little heavy, but I mean, no one plays like this. You usually play down here, and it's actually really comfortable, so very cool. Um, I don't have one of these, so I'm definitely going to be keeping that as well. Next we have next we have a boxed Simon, and everyone knows the game Simon Says, and this is basically, um, I think this is probably like the first, the first one, I'm trying to find a year on it. don't see a year on the outside but it's you can definitely tell that it's got some some age to it there it is there 1978 so definitely very old and it's cool to actually have it with the box still intact and that's very cool and um, right now I'm strictly just collecting video games but I've been thinking about it, and um, I don't think I'm going to start quite yet, but in the future when I get my own house, um, and I plan on living there for a while, and I have a lot of room, um, I want to start collecting, um, like, old toys and, you know, board games and stuff like that, just really, I think the st stuff like that's really cool, and uh, I'd really like to collect stuff like that as well in the future, so that's a cool first piece. Next up, we have a poster here, and I don't know if I can get this all on camera, but it's Diablo 3, it's double-sided, very cool. I have a friend who's really into Diablo 3, so I might be giving this to him. Um, I actually am not into Diablo at all. I've never played it, and I'm not really into computer games, so I probably won't be, but um, I think my friend will really enjoy that. 
And the last thing in here that he threw in is very cool. And I had one of these, and I had a Super Mario 64 one, and I, th I think that I gave it to non-tubers before I moved. But I'll definitely be keeping this one. And it is a, it is a Crash Team Racing mini uh, pinball machine. And it's in the box and everything, which is very cool. Um, I don't know if there's supposed to be a bottom to the box, but it at least has a top. And let me get it open here. And it's like brand new. It looks like this has never been taken out. You know, the little the little feet are still are still like taped up in the bag. Uh, this is very awesome, and I'm very happy to have this. This will definitely be staying in my collection. Okay, now we're going to get on to these two boxes. So I'll start with this one. First up, some Game Boy stuff. Let me get it all out here. Zelda, what do you want, kitty? She doesn't know what she wants. Okay, so first up, we have a boxed Game Shark Pro for the Game Boy Color. And uh, inside, it's just the Game Shark. There's no like inserts or paperwork. But um, a Game Shark for the Game Boy Color generally can sell for about 10 to 15 bucks on eBay. So to have a box one is pretty cool. Um, and I'm definitely going to be keeping that. bunch of Game Boy games here. Okay, uh, first up, we have an empty box with manuals for Wheel of Fortune. I'll just pick up a cartridge sometime. This one's also missing just the cartridge. Uh, double dribble, five on five. This one also, just box and manuals. Blades of Steel. And this one also just box manual, Castlevania Legends. This box is in great condition. I'd really like to get a copy of that game. Uh, next up, we have two box games for the Game Boy. First up is Pokemon Fire Red version. Great condition. The only thing it's missing is a little wireless adapter. And this one um, is also complete. And I was really happy to get this one because this is like one of the last ones I didn't have. And that's Pokemon Silver version. It's in great condition, too. I'm really happy with this one. That's a great addition to my collection. Uh, next, we have an instruction manual for Star Fox, Star Fox Adventures. And uh, when we were talking back and forth about uh, what I wanted to buy, I asked him if he had a manual for this game, because my mine is missing it. So he threw that in, which is very cool. That completes my, my copy. We have some N64 games. First up is Shadowgate 64, uh, Trials of the Four Towers. Then we have ECW Hardcore Revolution. This one is still factory sealed. Uh, there's a big rip in the seal up here, and there's there's rips all over the seal, but there's no there's no uh, holes big enough to be able to get a game out, so it's still sealed. Very cool to add another sealed game, another sealed N64 game to the collection. Next is WWF No Mercy. I think, I think I might already have that. I'm not sure. Next is Rampage World Tour. Then we have Gauntlet Legends. Really happy to get this one. This is uh, just one of those kind of expensive, more kind of popularish titles that I still needed. So I'm really happy to have that one. Same with this one. Killer Instinct Gold. Uh, the box is pretty crushed on this side, but you know, um, I'm glad to at least have a box copy. And uh, probably in the future, I'll find a replacement somewhere. But still, one of those more popularish, kind of expensive games I needed. Next up is WCW Nitro. Then Pilot Wings 64. And I didn't have this one, um, but now. Obviously I do. This box is in pretty good shape too, and 
Uh, this is one of the original games I had as a kid. Um, it was a launch title for the N64 and everything, so it was one of the, you know, we had that and Super Mario 64, I think, were the first two games we had. Next up is Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Uh, I think I have Sub-Zero, but I didn't have this one, so that's cool. Next is Turok Rage Wars. I definitely didn't have this one. Um, I think I have all the Turok games now for the N64. Wave Race 64, another great game. I think this is a launch title as well, and I remember having this one as a kid. WWF Attitude. Cruising USA. I didn't have this one. Um, I never had this one, but I remember playing it at, at friend's house and playing it at the arcade at the bowling alley when I was a kid. Same with this one. Cruising World. Uh, very happy to get both of these. Uh, they're on eBay. They're a little more than I would would have wanted to pay, so I'm glad to have got them. Next is F Zero X, another one of those sort of popularish games that I needed. Uh, very very glad to get this on the box. is in pretty good condition too. Uh, looks like we have two N64 games left in here, and they're both factory sealed, which is very awesome. First is Turok 2, Seeds of Evil. Now this one doesn't have a vertical seam in the back, but the seam, or the the uh, seal isn't loose or anything, and it has um, it has those little holes from age and everything, so I, I'm hoping this is legit. I'm not going to open it, but uh, there it is. And then a sealed copy of Perfect Dark. This one does have the vertical seam. And uh, I used to have a sealed copy of this, but I sold it before I moved. I have no idea why I did that, but um, it's, this one's not too... This one's like probably one of the easiest games to get sealed for the N64, but I'm finally glad to have it because I didn't even have a box copy after I sold mine. Um, let's see. There's one PS2 game in here, which is sealed, and it's a limited edition, and then the rest are all boxed Super Nintendo games. So, this is... Uh, Shin Megami Tensei, Devil Summoner 2, uh, Raido Kozanoa vs. King Abaddon, something like that. Um, collector's Edition, Limited Edition, whatever you want to call it. Uh, very cool. The game is still sealed. Um, I did have to open it from the bottom because he, the little uh, guy in there, was out of his thing and he was like twisted all the way around and upside down, so I did open it. Um, it was completely sealed, but, I mean, I'm keeping it, so I didn't mind opening it from the bottom and, you know, fixing him to make it look nice. The game is still sealed, though, so very cool. This is number 18,251. Uh, I'm not sure how many they made, but I know it's not terribly rare to have one of these sealed, but very cool. I didn't have that already, so that's an awesome addition to the collection. Um, and then the rest, like I said, are boxed Super Nintendo games, and I'm pretty sure all of these are going straight into the collection, and they're all in great condition, which is very cool. So first up we have X-Men, the Mutant Apocalypse, Arkanoid, Do It Again, or Do It Again as it says, Biker Mice from Mars, I thought that's a... Uh, Kind of a weird title for a game. Judge Dread. Aladdin. Home Alone 2. Jurassic Park. Wolverine Admantium Rage. Adamantium, uh, Sim City 2000. There's a bunch of Super Nintendo games in here. Gods, the Battle or the Bitmap Brothers. It's kind of a weird title. Uh, Captain America and the Avengers. Uh, pretty cool to get this now. Uh, because of the movie, it's probably gone up in value a little bit. I have no idea what it's worth, but that's just a, a guess. And this one's in, like, mint condition. The box is amazing on that. 
Phantom 2040. Once again, this one's in like mint condition. A lot of these superhero games are in mint condition, which is really cool. The Death and Return of Superman. Jack Nicholas Golf. Mortal Kombat 2. Spider-Man X-Men Arcade Revenge. Lots of Marvel games in here. Uh, uh, Venom and Spider-Man Separation Anxiety. The Incredible Hulk. Uh, Last Action Hero. Made by Sony. That's pretty cool. Indiana Jones Greatest Adventures. Bulls vs. Blazers and the NBA Playoffs. Spider Man Venom Maximum Carnage. And this is the cool uh, red cartridge for any of you guys who haven't seen that. Uh, Knights of the Round. Alien vs. Predator. The Cosmic Clash of the Century, it says on the back. The Lost Vikings. This one's pretty cool to, to, to get. And um, I actually have an extra manual for it, but this one has it in there. Uh, King Arthur's World. The Legend of the Mystical Ninja. Now we're getting into kind of the more expensive games. Um, except for this one. Uh, Fatal Fury Special. And it has most of this has most of the seal on it, but um, it's been opened uh, back here. But it actually doesn't feel like, it feels like a reseal, it's like really, it's, I don't know, it's like really stiff, I guess would be the word, but, and plus there's, there's a, there's wear on the edges under, under the seal, which is kind of weird, so I, I'm pretty sure that's a reseal, but that one's not, that one's not too rare. Illusion of Gaia, really happy to get this one, it's, there's so much stuff in here, it's packed full. Uh, then we have a PAL copy of Zombies, which is the American version is Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Um, I posted this I posted this find on the Nintendo 64 forum, and I think um, I think they said it was it was probably worth around 25 to 40 ish, somewhere around there. But um, I'm gonna be keeping this just because it's cool, and I actually decided to keep all those. PAL N64 games that I got too from the last from one of the last ones. Uh, two more in here, and they're both pretty pretty rare and expensive. First up is Super Mario World, and this is for display only. And I already have a boxed copy of Super Mario World, but mine doesn't say for display only, so this is a display box, uh, which is still very cool. Uh, no manual for this, but you know those manuals are extremely easy to come by. So very cool, kind of a, uh, it's not really a box variant because this is a display box, but still very cool to have. And the last one is pretty rare, and I'm really happy to have this. You guys might be able to guess what it is. Um, the cartridge alone is probably, I think it's worth around 65 to 70. Uh, probably kind of gives it away, but it's Chrono Trigger. And this is a game that I, I've been wanting for a while. I had it on the, on the DS. Um, a while ago, but I got rid of all my DS stuff. Um, that was a while ago, though. Um, it's got two posters, but no manual. Uh, and there's the cartridge. So, if anyone out there has a manual for Chrono Trigger, please let me know. Um, I had one a while ago, and I sold it. I have no idea why I did that, but I'm really happy to get this game again. 
Um, I never had a box copy. I've had cartridge copies before, but I'm really happy to finally have a box copy to put in the collection. Now we're moving on to the last box of the video and of the 100th pickup. And this one is going to be very, very cool. Uh, so first off, we have some, just some uh, manuals here. We have Star Fox and Yoshi's Story for the Nintendo 64. And the Yoshi's Story one also has the uh, control card with it. Next we have a cartridge only copy of Basis Loaded and this is this is cartridge only because there's a box copy of RBI Baseball when I opened it this was in there instead so I have an empty box now and a cartridge um, if you have an RBI Baseball cartridge only uh, let me know I'd be interested in buying that um, I want to save kind of the best for last like always so I'm going to go ahead and hold this up so you can't see the games that I'm moving over here because I don't want to give them away. And save those ones for last. So first up, I have, we have two boxed. Uh, multi carts for the uh, NES. That's what they look like on the front, and there's the back. They're tiny boxes, and um, one of them is uh, one of them's 190 in one, and this one is 82 in one. And on the back, it's got a list of all the games, uh, all the Mario games. This one has all the Bomberman games. Uh, Tetris, Tetris 2, a bunch of stuff, uh, but it has all the, said like Super Bomberman 1 through 6, which I don't even know if those came out in the United States. This one has, most of the games are either super or crazy, and yeah, these have got to be, some of these I, these, some of these aren't even the real titles. Uh, Crazy Bomberman, Crazy Balloon Fight, Crazy Dig Dug, Crazy Pac-Man. Yeah, Crazy King Kong, Crazy Superman, Crazy Bomberman, 3, 4, 5, 6, and another 3. Yeah, very cool though. Um, I've, this, these are my first uh, multi-carts for the NES, so that's very cool to have. Next up, we have a box only for Dr. Mario. Just an empty box there. Next, we have a complete copy of Super Mario Bros. 3. Complete copy of Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. This box is in way better condition than mine, so I'll be selling my other one. Bionic Commando. And before I get into... Mo these are mostly boxed NES games, but there's three Super Nintendo games that I will just get out of the way really quick. They are Phalanx. A bo this is a box copy of this. I think around like thirty to thirty-five dollars, so not bad. Then we have a sealed copy of Vegas Stakes. Uh, pretty pretty common game. Uh, I do have a box copy, but I didn't have a sealed one, so that's I'll be keeping that. And then we have Doom which is another game I didn't have uh, in really nice condition, so very cool. Now, moving back to the NES games. We have Super Mario Bros. 2. And actually, these... I want to save also. So, we have a Jeopardy! Junior Edition. Uh, it has most of the seal on it, but the top is actually open. Total Recall. Little Nemo Dream Master. Mickey Mouse Capade. Operation Wolf. Tengen Pac-Man, Grey Cart. 
Bart vs. the Space Mutants. And I do already have a lot of these games, but these ones are, these boxes are in much better condition than the ones I already have, so it's very cool to be able to upgrade so many games like that at once. Ten Yard Fight. Roger Clemens MVP Baseball. Hubert. Platoon. Mighty Bomb Jack. Soccer. Another black box game with a hang tab. Solstice. Jaws. Jackal. And Iron Sword Wizards and Warriors 2. Another black box game, tennis. John Elway's quarterback. Uh, Mission Impossible. Bases loaded. And this is the. This is still a copy of Bases Loaded in there, so they didn't get mixed up. Al Unser Jr.'s Turbo Racing, Batman, I'll save that one, uh, Track and Field, the first one, Gyrus, Defender 2, Codename Viper, Cybernoid, The Fighting Machine, uh, The Simpsons, Bart vs. The World, The Bugs Bunny Birthday Blowout, Destination Earth Star, Tecmo Bowl, uh, Swords and Serpents, that one's pretty cool. Wheel of Fortune. And this box is like mint, like really mint condition. Low G-Man. Or Low Gravity Man. Gradius. Very cool to get this one. Has a hang tab. The Guardian Legend. And I think this game, this game is really cheap, but I think recently it's gone up like ridiculously in value. I think a cartridge used to be like like four or five dollars and now it's like twenty five or thirty bucks for a cartridge. And I think the reason is um, uh, Cinemassacre did their like top five or top ten underrated NES games and that was number like I think number one and uh, people on Nintendo Age were discussing it and that might be a reason why it's jumping up in price but I guess I'm really glad to have a complete copy. Double Dribble Rescue, the Embassy Mission. Four more in here, and then we'll get on to the good stuff. Lee Trevino's Fighting Golf. The Karate Kid. I think I have two extra box copies of that now. Uh, National Football League. Pirates. That's a pretty cool cover. That's actually a really cool cover on there. Okay, now we get into uh, the cool, the cooler stuff. I'll start with these because I don't know the value of these. I think they're actually kind of cheap. But um, Flying Dragon, the Secret Scroll, Zoda's Revenge, Star Tropics Two. So now I've got Star Tropics and Star Tropics Two, both in like mint condition. Uh, Legacy of the Wizard. Now we get into the good stuff. Uh, NES. Uh, I'll start with this one. This is a a reproduction box, um, which let me take this out really quick. Fix the bottom. Uh, like I said, this is a reproduction box. The game originally didn't come in its own box, but um, yeah, this is very cool. Uh, he didn't know that this was a reproduction box until I asked him about it, but um, 
Yeah, this is very cool to have uh, just a way to store the game that originally doesn't have a box, and that's Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt. And like I said, this this was never this never came with a box because it was re only released with the systems. So like I said, it's very cool to have a box for it. The game's in there, styrofoam, manual, everything's in there, so that's very cool. Next up is Metroid. This is the silver silver label version. Uh, very cool. I didn't have this game, so I'm really happy to have another one of the popular titles boxed. Next is Battletoads. Another very cool one to have boxed. Great condition. And then the last NES game, this is really cool to get boxed. Um, I have one of the other ones. Uh, I still need four more, but that's Mega Man 3. So I've got three and five, I think. And uh, Mega Man 5 is the most expensive out of the out of the six. I think one being the second most expensive. But um, yeah, definitely happy to have another box Mega Man game in great condition. Now the last stuff that I have to show you guys from this box and from this pickup video um, is all N64 stuff, and it's all boxed. And before I get into that, I just wanted to mention again, uh, I said earlier in the pickup videos that um, there were some items that I was going to be showing you at the very end that were that weren't normal pickup video items, I guess. And um, I, th I think I already said it in a different part of this pickup video, but I'm going to delay that until the room tour because I already have, besides the stuff that I just showed you, everything else is already set up in the room. Um, so, it'd be, the only way I could really show you this stuff would be to bring it back out here, which would be a ridiculous pain, or I could show you in there, but that would kind of give away part of the room tour, so I'm just going to have to wait to see that. There's three things that are very awesome, and the room tour is going to have a before and an after, because I rearranged the room um, after the video you guys saw, I rearranged it and took the video, then I took everything out, built my own shelves and everything, and then I'll be filming an after once I get all the rest of this stuff in there. So that'll be up sometime shortly, hopefully. So let's get into the Sin 64 stuff. First up, we have a box copy of Castlevania. The box is a little bit crushed, and um, I already have a copy of this and an extra empty box, but um, I think I might need the manual out of here, and there's a baggie on the game which I can use. So there's that. I'm trying to go in order from least coolest to coolest. Uh, next is 007 Goldeneye. This is in great condition. This actually might be in better shape than mine. Um, and that's complete as well. So like always, if I get a better condition game, I switch it out and get rid of my, my older copy. Um, I guess this one would be next. Banjo-Kazooie. Very awesome game. That one is also complete. And there's, there's baggies over the uh, over the instructions. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it didn't originally come like that, which is kind of weird. But yeah, it's got the baggie for the game and the cartridges in there and everything. So that one's complete. Next. Super Mario 64, my favorite game of all time. You guys probably know that. That one's complete as well. Great condition. Next, Mario Kart 64. Uh, this box is in really nice condition, and I really think this is a lot better than my current copy, so I'll definitely be keeping this one. That's like a mint condition box. Next is Super Smash Brothers. And I'm going, I'm trying to go in uh, value from least to greatest, so I still have two more. So you can, so, I mean, a box copy of this is pretty expensive, so um, I guess try and take some guesses as to what the last two are. But this box is in great shape as well. <clears throat> and when I say that this next one is cheaper than the other one, you're probably going to be, you know, probably going to be narrowing it down to a few. Uh, options of what the last game will be, 
but you're probably going to be wrong. So, this one is Conqueror's Badge Birthday. And this one is complete. I think my box might be in a little bit better shape than this one, but I'm not sure. I'll have to check. In the last game for this pickup video, for the 100th special pickup video, uh, the last game from this box, the last game from LV Pepe 38, once again, check him out and subscribe, is a sealed game. And that's why it's worth more. Um, it's not. It's not one of the, you know, one of the rarest games on the N64, but it is sealed. Um, it is factory sealed. There's a vertical seal on the back, and that is Paper Mario. So it's not in the best shape. I'm not going to be sending it in to get graded like I was hoping. Um, it's a little, it's a little crushed, and um, that's really it. It's just a little bit crushed. But other than that, the seal is all intact, aside from a couple of tiny holes from age. But I'm very happy to have a sealed copy of Paper Mario. It's a, it's a great game, and this is uh, very cool. I think, I think a sealed copy is maybe around 150 to 200 ish, somewhere around there. So very happy to have this, and then you can obviously see why it's worth more than a box Conquers Bad for a day. But um, like I said, very happy to have this. A great addition to the collection. I don't have too many sealed N64 games. Um, but this one and Majora's Mask are definitely my two best ones. So that's it for the special 100th pickup video. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed uh, putting it on and doing all this stuff. And obviously I enjoyed getting all this stuff. It's very cool. Um, a couple announcements that I've already made. There will be a 1,000 subscriber contest coming shortly. And also a new room tour before and after. I'm going to put it into maybe one maybe two videos I'm hoping to get it into one I hope it's not too long um, but room tours tend to kinda of be long so I might put it in one maybe two I'm hoping to do it in one that'd be better um, so be on the lookout for that and I think that's it I feel like there's something I'm missing but um, if there is you'll just see when it comes out so that's it for now um, once again, thank you very much, LV Pepe 38 for selling me most of your collection. I really appreciate it. And like I said, guys, really check him out. He's got some really awesome videos. So uh, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.